my recent work, uh, if you read the um, hybrid book mm -hmm. very attentively, you'll have to go to the footnotes. Uh, you will see there's got a lot of uh, a lot of uh, evidence um, produced for uh, black Jewish communities in different parts of West Africa, which are not sort of based upon a particular reading of tribal history, let's put it like that, but are based from on um, fairly hard historical fact and the base uh, this hard historical fact is the expulsion of the jews from spain and from portugal at the end of the 15th century subsequent to which um a lot of jews settled first of all in northwest um africa places like senegal in the islands, <clears throat> which I'm sure you know about, Saint Tome and um, Principe, yes, sir. Uh, uh, principally, uh, and then less known um, along the the coast of Guinea, uh, so that in the middle of the 50, middle of the 16th century, 1560 to be precise, the uh, Portuguese um, Archbishop of Goa in India uh, proclaimed that. Um, Judaism is a kind of horrible illness which has killed millions of people throughout history and um, the result of um, being Jewish was to be covered in, in shame, to fail in everything, um, even among the black Jews of Guinea. So in other words, the existence of Jews in the western part of africa was absolutely accepted at the time uh, by the likes of the portuguese archbishop of goa and then travelers mango park is a good example uh, kept coming across uh, jews or uh, evidence of um, jewish settlements uh, in West Africa, and we know from various sources that there were, you know, uh, black Jewish communities practicing uh, uh, mainstream Judaism uh, from the end of the 15th century onwards through the next century and so on. And as far as the uh, black Jews that I talk about in this book, because they are the starting point for a, a wider uh, digression or a wider consideration, of uh, more uh, racial themes, or rather themes to do with the evolution of the race myth, has got to do with Loango, and there we've got very, very hard, relatively recent evidence, uh, because there was a scientific mission to, to West Africa uh, taken by the Germans in 1870, 1871, and they left behind huge tomes in German which describe, among other things, uh, this black Jewish community, which was still at that time practicing a form of Judaism. So uh, Loango, where these people came from, was one of the main uh, slave exporting kingdoms in West Africa. And therefore, um, it is entirely likely that um, uh, some slaves anyway, I'm not saying it's all slaves and i certainly don't subscribe to the idea that all african americans are naturally israelites and they have replaced the jews in the in the great dispensation um i'm not saying that at all i'm saying that some jews both in central africa uh, central america and in the united states had every reason uh, to be influenced by the judaism that we know to, to to have existed in the 18th century when they uh, across to the Americas, either from Loango or from points uh, north, uh, certainly Senegal and uh, further south, uh, possibly Nigeria.